everybody and welcome back to Casual Friday at Bikini Body Conscious Living and we have our favorite Casual Friday guy and oh my goodness Leo, what is going on with you? This is Casual Friday. That's like a tux to Leo right it now. It is. <laughs> What's going on? Is there a new woman we don't know about? Actually, it's just me and I'm just feeling good about myself. He has a right to feel good about himself. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, all jokes good. aside, I, I'm really proud of you. Thank I you. want you to stand up for a second. Okay. Okay, can, can we get a, a good close up on Leo? Spin. You've been working out your turn chest around. muscles, Leo. All the way Ooh. around. I mean, look at this. I am so proud of you. You lost more weight. Uh, I think maybe just like around five pounds. Another five? That yeah. is phenomenal. And I, I want to know how are your workouts going? For, for those of you out there who don't know, Leo was challenged. Uh, by Selena mm -hmm. and myself uh, to number one from Selena to go to the restaurants he used to go to when he was much heavier mm -hmm. and order healthy food and bring it to us once a week and from me he was challenged to pick up his workouts a little and do at least three five K's a week on the elliptical machine at the gym so yes. I would like to know how you're doing with your workouts now workouts going good um, I actually am going to the gym every other day so it's okay. um, so sometimes it's three. Slide them working. back a little bit this way and okay. go out to push-up position. You know this one. Okay. Okay. Everybody at home, Camisa is going to hold like this for a little while. So this is kind of an extra exercise called a plank. And everybody at home, just grab a chair and <laughs> join us. We're going to do this nice and slow. Now she is actually working her core and her shoulders right now. Uh -huh. But we're going to work a little bit of chest mm -hmm. and a little bit of arms today. Okay. And we always work our core. Yes. So when Camise is ready, uh -huh. you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, we're gonna start our push up. Okay. So nice and slowly, let's go down. One. Good, and push back up. And we Two. keep that core nice and tight. Good, again. Two. And notice that her butt is not sinking down, her mm. back is not sinking down, Two. and her head is not bobbing. So she is doing a phenomenal job. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Okay, too. keep going though. Ooh. Okay, she's now gonna listen. do three more. Oh, I don't know about that, but listen, <laughs> any of these any of these exercises you can get online at bikinibodyconsciousliving.com and get our fitness tips. And uh, she's doing such a good job. And, uh, for yourself. And so even if it's 30 minutes a day, go for that walk. Even if you're walking your dog, go walk to the mailbox, just keep moving. Do you cook for yourself or does someone cook for you? Okay. How about this? Do you go grocery shopping? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm in the supermarket every day. Okay, oh, okay. that explains a lot. <laughs> uh, now, when you're on the road and you're eating out and things like that, are you, are you trying to be That's conscious the hardest. of your choices? That is the hardest one because you get into a space, and this is the other part of the balance. Your lifestyle also has to, a lot to do with time management, and time management has a lot to do with scheduling what kind of food and what kind of things you're going to eat. Yes. Even when I started really, really going at it, I mean, you know, I have a vanity issue, so when mm -hmm. it's time to go in the studio and records come out and videos or whatever, then I start to push it up again. So, but mm -hmm. when you're doing that, you know, packaging your food ahead of time so that you can eat mm -hmm. on schedule, mm -hmm. there's certain things that you can do to trick your body, not trick, but train your body mm -hmm. into uh, responding, working yes. for you as opposed to against you. So eating at the same time, drinking tons of water. Um, I drink way more water than I've ever drank before. That's so good. at the that's for the most part, again, it's just literally a psychological change that's body really, really pushing the envelope now. Camise? I'm Dr. Audrey Beth. We have Doris Gist and, of course, everybody's favorite cook, Selena. And we have been talking about diabetes. So I know, Selena, you had a question. Yes, I did have a question for you. Yes. You, you were mentioning your busy lifestyle and, yes. and going through the motions every day, what you had to do t mm -hmm. with work and take care of your family and not really taking care of yourself right. and not maybe realizing until later the symptoms that you might have you could now looking back mm -hmm. maybe there were things that you see that you would have noticed oh absolutely and and what those things might be that we can tell the audience mm -hmm. because I, I think there's a lot of people out there who are just like you they're mm -hmm. busy taking care of their family and other people mm -hmm. um, around them and working so hard and they are not paying attention to those symptoms okay could would you like me to I would love for you okay love for you um tiredness number mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. I I realized I worked hard and all of that, but mm -hmm. I was just too tired. Mm -hmm. okay. It was hard to put one foot in front of the other. Mm -hmm. Then constant thirst. I was that always is thirsty. Mm -hmm. 
But along with that constant thirst and insatisfable craving Wait. To Something prevent sweet. any sexually transmitted disease or pregnancy would be to abstain completely. But as we are all human, I don't expect all of you to do that. So the next best thing truly is using a condom, and that's whether you're having oral sex, vaginal sex, anal sex. The, using a condom is your next best bet. And again, to prevent pregnancy, there's nothing wrong with using more than one method. You can be on the pill and use a condom. So just remember, it is really, really important to protect yourself. So Amy, I hope that's helpful to, to you and to everybody out there that thinks like Amy. And remember, that's whether you are giving or receiving. Now back to infidelity. We realize that a lot of people out there are, are not above it. And with that, that realization, you know, how do we address the topic of cheating? How do we deal with infidelity? And the best thing I can tell you, the, the only way to deal with it, is to speak about it and speak about it very openly. So find that person that you trust, whether it's your mother, your father, your brother, sister, best friend, husband or wife, and sit down and talk to them. Speak openly about how you feel and, and what you're thinking. And I'll tell you, you can, you can squash a great deal of infidelity just by talking about it before it happens and sharing those thoughts and feelings.